Hey guys! So today I've done a very like simplistic Valentine's Day makeup look. It's really just about the glow, I feel like. I did like a matte eye, uh, glossy lip, very glowy skin. I didn't actually mean to go so like wham bam taking him on the highlight and I was like I just kind of kept adding it and it just ended up being like this. But to be honest, like that body glow was just like wa boom, wa boom. Uh, uh, uh. I'm feeling a bit extra today, you know. You guys totally don't have to go so crazy on the highlight, but it's just for fun. Like it's Valentine's Day and it comes around once a year. Like who doesn't want to glow? You know. Anyways, let's go straight into this look. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you soon. Mwah. Bye. Hey guys, so we're going to begin off with our skin. So I'm going to first of all apply this priming moisturizer to my face. It's from Hello Fab. This is just going to help create a nice plump base. My skin was feeling a little bit dry and a little bit like um, flaky. So I applied this as my base, my primer today to help give it a bit more life back to the skin and create a nice tacky base for the makeup that we're going to be applying on top. <laughs> okay, so... Then for lips, I felt they were a bit chapped and I wanted to prime them before I applied lipstick on later. So I applied this Puda Healing Lip Balm. Next, I'm applying this primer from Urban Decay. It's the Complexion, what's it called? The Complexion Primer or something like that. And I was like applying it to my face like all dramatic, like boom, boom, boom. And then I realized as I was rubbing it, I'm like, oh shit, like I applied a little bit a match <laughs> so really a small bit does go a long way guys a little like dollop of it will do you an immense amount of like change like what was it what am I saying like it basically a small amount goes a long way kind of thing and I just applied it like to my skin it's meant to smooth and get rid of any pores even out the texture and redness on your skin so it just creates a nice even flawless base for the makeup that we will apply on top because I was going in with like a more natural soft Valentine's Day look. I didn't want to have too heavy a layer of foundation on my face. So I wanted to make my base really flawless so that the makeup that I apply on top will show up quite flawless and I don't have to apply so much to get the same kind of effect. It looks more natural that way. Anywho, I'm going in with my foundation. This is the Milani 2-in-1 foundation in the shade medium beige. I'm applying that all over my skin with my F80 Kabuki brush. Next, I'm going in and bronzing up thy complexion because I felt a little bit just flat and matte, you know what I mean? I wanted a bit more colour to the skin. So I'm going in with my Hula Bronzer, Hula Quickie Bronzer, oh no, contour stick. So yeah, guys, sorry about my naming of the products today. I'm a bit shocking, I know. <laughs> but I'm basically applying this to all the perimeters of my face and on my nose as well because that's where we kind of get that natural hit of the sunlight. It kind of bronzes that area on our nose. I also did the jawline, chin, then I decided to bring it down my neck a bit as well because I felt like it was all bronze on the, on the face and nothing on the body. And it's really important that you bronze and also apply foundation to your neck because that is visible as well. It looks really funny if you just have a cast of like makeup on your face and nothing on your neck. Next I'm going in for highlight. Yes girl, highlight is very necessary with any Valentine's Day look. And I'm going in with my usual... Maybelline um, strobing liquid. It's got a nice pinky undertone to it, so it's kind of really fitting with this makeup look. And I'm applying this to the high points of my cheekbones, nose, and cupid's bow. Next, for concealer, I'm going in with my Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium Moin, and I'm applying this under the eyes, priming my lids with this as well. I'm also covering up any breakouts that I had on my skin. And also highlighting the center of my face and under the contour as well to really sharpen up that contour because I won't be applying a contour powder today. I'm just going to bronze and, you know, create a more natural look <laughs> with this makeup look. And then I go in and buff the concealer in with my concealer buffer brush from Zoeva. For blush, I'm going in with this Maybelline Cream Blush Stick in the shade Coral Coral Blush. I can't remember what the um, full name is. I just remember it had coral in it. I'll leave that link down below for you guys as well. And I'm patching it in with my finger. And I'm applying it to the contours, like the back end of my cheeks first. And then I'll bring it onto the apples of my cheeks to really give that very flushed, healthy glow to the skin. 
Then I go back in with whatever was left on my hand with that highlighting liquid, that highlighting cream, and applying it with that buffer brush on the very high points of the cheekbones for an extra bit of a pop with the glow. For powder, I'm going in with my Fit Me Press Powder in the shade 135. It's a lighter powder than my complexion, so it's going to highlight as well as set that concealer in place. And what I'm doing is baking it over the top of my concealer area, so under the eyes, also setting the lids in place. I'm going around my nose area where I can tend to crease and the foundation can break up. And also on my chin and forehead. And I'm definitely setting underneath the contours as well to highlight as well as set it in place. And then I'm just setting everything in place with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So it lasts all day slash night long. <laughs> For brows, I'm going to go in with my Shady Slim Brow Pencil from LA Girl in the shade Brunette, I believe. And I'm first of all combing up my brows so that they are in the shape that I want. Makes them look more fluffier. I can kind of see the proper outline of them. Then I go in and start carving out my brows. So I first feather it through the front of my brows. And then I create a nice sharp line along the bottoms and tail end of my brow so that it really gives a nice shape to it. Then I just feather the rest of the product through the brows to fill in any sparse areas. Oh, and I go back in and feather the, bris the spoolie through the hairs as well to kind of work that product into the brows. So it looks more like quotation marks natural. And then once I've got my brows filled in, I'm going in and applying a brow gel. This is the one from Rimmel in the shade Deep Brown, I believe, or Dark Brown, I think it is. And I'm applying this through the hairs to help give them a bit more dimension and stick those hair, stick those brow hairs in place. And that and the brows are done. We are on a roll, people. <laughs> Next for eyes, I'm going in with these two shades. These are going to be my transition shades today. So it's like an orangey shade and a light brown shade. A couple shades darker than my natural skin tone. So it's going to create a nice warm um, shade through the crease area. Give me a bit of dimension and shape. And it's also going to help the other shades that we apply next blend in more smoothly and softly. Next I'm taking from my Juvia's Place palette the shade Crepes. And I'm applying this through the crease and outer corner, building up that colour so it's nice and pigmented. The gorgeous like soft pink shade, perfect for Valentine's Day, very soft and subtle. Next I'm going in with some concealer, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer on a con eye concealer brush. And I'm applying this on the inner half of my crease, creating a cut crease with this. And then I use my finger to kind of buff out the edges so it fades into the outer corner and there's no harsh lines. Then I go back in with crepes to soften that cut crease because it was I wanted a more less dramatic look today than my previous Valentine's Day look, so I wanted to soften that cut crease just slightly. Then I'm taking this kind of bone coloured like I don't know eggshell white shade from my Morphe palette and applying this over the top of the concealer that we placed down before. And then I'm placing crepes in the outer crease, blending it into the bone white shadow and also just through the crease deepening it, deepening it up. So I'm placing it on the outer corner and the crease, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, okay, done. Next, I'm grabbing from my 9N blush palette. Um, from Morphe, I'm applying these two blush shades to deepen up the outer corner and crease. Then I go back in with crepes to soften the edges and also help that blush blend into the white. So I put it kind of in between where the white meets the like blush shades and then I go back in with the white to soften it just kind of going back and forth till you've got a perfect blend the lashes today guys I went in with wispy temp, temp wispy temptress from my house of lashes from my house of lashes lol from house of lashes and I applied them to my eyes guys they are so beautiful and so wispy plus their lash band is clear so they look more natural they don't have a black lash band so they just mesh into the lid the lash line so well and to help them further blend in to my natural lash line, I applied a black eye coal to my tight line. And then to open up the eyes a bit more, I went in with a nude coal on my waterline. To kind of bring a bit more dimension back to the lash line again, I'm going in with this deep brown shade and applying this really tightly against my lash line from outer corner all the way to inner, uh, inner, corner, <laughs> inner corner. And then I'm buffing out that with a like kind of brick brown shade just slightly lighter than that deep brown so it kind of 
smokes it out a little bit more. And then I'm finally going in with that light brown that we used at the very beginning on a very big fluffy brush to soften the edges so it's nice and smoky. Then I wanted to apply this pink kind of shimmery shade from the palette on my inner corners to give it a bit of a pop. Because I, it was like a matte eye look, I wanted a bit of, a bit of something extra to complement this eye look for Valentine's Day. And then for my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I went in with Shimmer Shimmer and Ice Queen to uh, finish off this look. Oh, I also applied some bottom lash mascara off camera. And that is the finished eye look, guys. For my face today, I'm going in with my um, NYX Contour and Highlight Kit and just bronzing the skin with those two brown shades um, to give a bit of shape back to the face and set the bronzer in place. For highlight, I'm taking Nectar and Ice Queen and applying this on with my beauty sponge to, so it helps melt it into the skin. It just looks so much more natural on the face when I apply it with my beauty sponge. I just apply that to the high points of my face. And then, guys, like I said, I just went a bit more crazy with the highlight and, girl, was I living for it. I went in with puffs from my Juvia's Place palette and I did the same technique, applied it with my beauty sponge. And girl, oh my gosh, it was such a gorgeous pinky highlight. Like, I cannot describe. It was just so beautiful. I just looked like I was glowing, like a flipping goddess. It was so pretty. Uh, and I applied it down my neck and on my decolleté as well. And then I go in with the blush that we used before on our eyes, the peachy one, and I applied that to the contours of my face. And to set my face in place, I went in with the same setting spray, the Urban Decay or Nida setting one, setting spray one. For lips today, guys, I went in with Commando from Kylie Cosmetics. It's a gorgeous, like, slightly, like, brownish, nudey, pinky colour. And I applied that to my lips. And then over top, I went in with my Gorgeous Cosmetics Lip Topper in the shade Lily. And I applied that over top for a gorgeous, glossy finish. And that, my loves, completes my makeup tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed today's one. It was a very soft, wearable look, I feel. Very glowy, very just feminine. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you do. Leave a comment down below. Um, let me know what you want to see next. If you like this tutorial or not. You know, just anything you'd like to leave. I just love reading your comments. And I hope you guys have an amazing Valentine's Day. I love you all so, so much. And I'll see you in my next tutorial. Have an awesome day, guys. Bye.